What's up, friends? Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying healthy again. I'm in quarantine. And since one of you asked, I figured that's good enough justification for me to make a video. And that video is none other than what yo-yos do I currently have and what am I currently using. Quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video, but hey, Yo-Yo Factory, if you're watching this and you like what I'm doing, then feel free to hit me up because I'd be open to talking business with you. All right, so first on the list, we have our one and only non-Yo-Yo Factory yo-yo here, and that is the Dreadnought by Yo-Yo Recreation. It's very nice. Uh, this is in perfect condition. Um, it's kind of big. Uh, personally, it's a little big for me, and it's pretty heavy, not gonna lie. Um, too heavy for my style of play anyway. I think it would be good for if you're using like body tricks and long string and you want to you know wrap it around your arm or your neck and stuff like that. That's what I think this yo-yo would be good for but that's just not my style of play. But it's a gift and so I treasure it very much and I just keep it here on my desk because it's nice to look at. Next we have the other big yo-yo here. It's my 4A yo-yo. This is by Yo-Yo Factory. I, for some reason, just can't remember the name and I don't see it printed anywhere on this yo-yo. Uh, but it's the $20 or $25 4A, I guess it's an entry level yo-yo. And this is very, very good. It's probably like the best use of your money in my opinion. I would highly recommend this yo-yo to anybody even if you don't do 4A because if you get this yo-yo, you will want to do 4A, trust me. Um, you can pretty much do every trick you need to do um, before you start bit, uh, getting the more expensive ones like the Kamui or something. Uh, I don't know if there's any newer 4A yo-yos that have come out recently. Um, I, I'm not that into 4A, but I do enjoy throwing this one around. Um, I haven't thrown it around recently though because the, the response pads on the inside have worn out and I have not been able to buy new ones. So as soon as I can get some new ones, I will definitely be throwing this and I'll make a video on that. Next up on the list, we have my other yo-yo that has been neglected um, because I did not replace the, the response pads on the inside for this either. But this is the one by Yo-Yo Factory. This is a Paul Han version. Um, very, very good yo-yo. Um, I heard that some people who buy this, uh, like the yo-yo is wobbly. Um, but for me, I have not had any problems with this. It is the, I think when I bought this, it was 15 or $20. Also a great, great use of the money. One of the best plastic yo-yos out there, in my opinion. Uh, it's unresponsive. Weight and size is perfect for my liking. Um, I put a dice on it for a 5A, uh, but I haven't thrown it around because I didn't replace the response pads yet. But I will do it sometime and yeah, we'll see. I'll make a video when that happens. Next we have my uh, three, what is this? Uh, this is the, another Yo-Yo Factory. This is the Wedge by Evan Nagao. As you can see, I put a dice on one of them because this is a great 5A yo-yo. It's plastic, so I really don't care that much if I drop it or scratch it or whatever if they hit each other. And I use these two for 3A because I'm trying to learn 3A right now. Um, and they're great. Uh, Weight-wise is just about right. Um, I guess it would be a little on the... I guess we'll just say it's on the normal side because it's really just very normal. Um, size is a little bit big, uh, it's, I mean, it's not really big, big, we'll compare it, we'll compare it like this, so it's not much bigger than the one, um, but it's around, I think, the same weight, maybe just a little bit lighter than the one, um, but yeah, these yo-yos are great, I got them in December, so they're brand new, I, Personally, I think these are the best plastic yo-yos ever that I've ever played with, um, in my opinion, especially in this price range. They're $20 each, I think, um, but I was able to get one for free because I was lucky. Um, actually, I got two of them for free. And I'll show you why right now. Why did I get these for free? Because I bought these yo-yos. This 
is the, let me, let's look for the label. This is the Edge by Yo-Yo Factory. And this is also Evan Nagao's yo-yo. Uh, kudos to you, Evan. Uh, you really made some fantastic yo-yos uh, because these are my favorite. This is my new everyday throw. Um, and if you've been following me, then you know that the first edge that I bought uh, got severely damaged when, it, when the string broke and it fell into the lava field. Um, and so I bought a second one and during both times when I bought these yo-yos they had a special promotion where if you buy it they give you one of these for free. So I bought one of these previously by myself and then when I bought these yo-yos I got both of these for free um, thanks to uh, Razor Concepts in Pearl Ridge, Hawaii. I, yeah. So anyway, uh, this is pretty much all I got right here. This is my entire yo-yo collection aside from my old positron that i keep in the closet because uh for some reason it just doesn't like it doesn't play as good anymore i don't know if i banged it too much or what oh sorry we have two more yo-yos here loop 900s loop 900s are um i would say good but the new ones that yo-yo factory has is even better i think it's called loop 1250 something like that or the new ones are really really good these ones aren't good um but i if you have the chance to get the new ones i just recommend get the new ones because they're infinitely better in my opinion so yeah anyway that is my um entire yo-yo collection uh i know a lot of people who are really into yo-yos they have a ton of yo-yos but i just don't because i don't know if i don't like it if i like you know I'm not gonna spend money on something unless I think it's really worth it. And everything here, I would recommend to anybody getting into yo-yo, no matter what level, even if you're just a beginner. So this, I would say, is the best use of your money, except maybe these. These are very, very expensive for yo-yos. This is $150 each. So unless you're serious and you're actually pretty good and you, you won't ding it up, then, get these but if not there's stick with these plastic ones um, you'll be entertained enough so anyway anyway so anyway I hope you enjoyed that uh, short little video of my yo-yo collection I hope it was in informative if you have any questions about anything let me know again yo-yo factory if you're watching this and you are interested in talking business let me know hit me up my Instagram DMs are open uh, anyway, other than that, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic, safe, healthy quarantine, and I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.